Powerful electrophiles replace a hydrogen attached to an aromatic ring with some group. Here's an example. When benzene is treated with bromine plus ferric bromide, you get bromobenzene. My question is, what happens to the rate of that reaction if you have something attached to the aromatic ring already? When there's a group attached to the ring, is this reaction faster? Slower? Maybe unchanged? Well, to think about this, let's look at a few examples and then draw some conclusions. Let's take the bromination of benzene as a standard reaction and look at the rates of some other compounds. Toluene, for example. Toluene reacts faster than benzene. So we'll put it in this list. Here's another one. This is anisole, methoxybenzene. It has an oxygen attached directly to the ring and a CH3. This too is faster than benzene. In fact, it's much faster. On the other hand, if we look at chlorobenzene, it's slower. If we look at acetophenone, it's slower. If we look at nitrobenzene, it's much slower. So we said this is much faster. This is much slower. If we look carefully at these substituents to try to understand this, we see a pattern. The methyl is electron donating by induction. We know that methyl groups stabilize carbocations because they're electron donating. And although the oxygen is electron withdrawing by induction, a much more significant aspect is its donation of electrons by resonance. So the resonance donation into the pi system far outweighs the withdrawal by induction. And we're prepared to say that faster substituents are those that donate electrons into the ring. And doesn't that make sense? The more electron density in the ring, the more an electrophile will be attracted to that electron density, the faster the reaction will be. And you're probably already ahead of me. When a substituent pulls electron density from the aromatic ring, there's less electron density to attract the electrophile, so the reaction is slower. And you know that halogens are electron withdrawing, and carbonyl compounds are more polarized. The oxygen is more electronegative, so the carbon has a partial positive charge on it, and that withdraws electron density from the pi system. Look at the nitro group. The nitro group has two resonance structures. They're identical. In each case, there's a full positive charge on the nitrogen. So of course that reaction is seriously slowed down because that positive charge of nitrogen is withdrawing pi electron density. So the deactivating effect of a nitro group is huge. Okay, we've solved the riddle of what happens to the rates when we have a substituent on the ring. Electron donating substituents accelerate the reaction. We call that ring activating. And electron withdrawing substituents slow down the reaction. We call that ring deactivating. So we can take all of the groups that are commonly attached to the aromatic ring and divide them into two groups, ring activators and ring deactivators. They all follow the principles we've just talked about. Here are the ring activators. The alkyl and aryl substituents donate electrons by induction. Each of the other substituents has an atom, oxygen or nitrogen, attached directly to the ring that has at least one unshared pair to donate by resonance. The carbonyl group attached to oxygen or nitrogen has a moderating effect. So we can group these into three subgroups. These are weaker than the others, and these are especially strong. When we look at the ring deactivators, all of these substituents pull electron density from the aromatic ring. The nitro group is especially strong, and the halogens are weaker. And there you have it, two groups of substituents. Some activate the ring toward electrophilic aromatic substitution, others deactivate it. And these effects can be very large. In all cases, we can understand the effects by looking at whether the substituent increases electron density in the aromatic ring 
or decreases it, whether it causes Electrophile to be more attracted to the ring or less attracted to the ring. 